Welcome back to the channel. If you've never heard of an axolotl, let me catch you up. Axolitos are a type of salamander that lives in Mexico, and they're known for their pink skin, external gills, and general adorableness. But what makes them particularly special is their ability to regenerate limbs and even parts of their brains and spinal cord. And not only can they regrow these body parts, but they can also respark the growth of their own eggs. So today we're going to look at how the axolotl might just be immortal. First off, I am going to tell you a little bit about the axolotl itself, because without knowing some of the basics, it's going to be hard to understand how this little salamander is basically unkillable. Axolotls are part of the broader group of animals called amphibians. They're in the family of salamanders and are native to Lake Exocamilco and Lake Calco in Mexico. These lakes are connected by canals, and historically, the axolotl would have been able to move between them, but unfortunately, Due to urbanization and pollution, their habitat has been destroyed and they're now considered critically endangered. In the wild, axolitos are ambush predators, meaning they wait for their prey to come to them instead of chasing it down. This is probably why they have such poor eyesight. Their diet consists mostly of aquatic invertebrates like crustaceans, mollusks, and worms. And as I mentioned earlier, axolotls are famous for their pink color and feathery external gills. These external gills are actually modified into fleshy protrusions that allow for gas exchange with water and help them get oxygen. This is different from most other amphibians, which have internal gills or lungs for respiration. The reason they have these external structures is because they live in water all of their lives. Normally, when salamanders metamorphose from their larval stage to their adult stage, they develop lungs and lose their gills. However, axolotls stay in this larval stage throughout their lives and so need these external gills to survive. When axolotls are born, they're transparent and only around one centimeter long, but they can grow up to 36 centimeters in length and live for 10 to 15 years in the wild. In captivity, however, they can sometimes live for over 20 years. The species' scientific name is Ambistoma. Ambistoma refers to the genus, which is made up of 10 different species of mostly gray or brown colored salamanders that live in the United States and Mexico. And Mexicanum refers to the fact that the axolotl is found in Mexico. Axolotls have also been studied by scientists for a number of reasons. For example, they have tetraploid genomes. This means that instead of two sets of chromosomes like humans, they have four. Scientists aren't exactly sure how this happened, but one theory is that it could have resulted from a failed attempt at asexual reproduction. Polyploidy, or having more than two sets of chromosomes, isn't common in animals, but is common in plants. Sometimes new plant species can arise from polyploidy after an unfertilized cell replicates its chromosomes and then begins dividing. This can lead to offspring with four sets of chromosomes, but it's much less common in animals. Another reason that axolitas are studied is because they have the ability to regenerate limbs and parts of their brain and spinal cord. This is very unique, and we don't know the full extent of their regenerative abilities yet. But we do know that they can't regenerate their hearts. When an axolotl loses a limb, a special group of cells called blastema cells migrate to the wound site. These cells start dividing and eventually form a complete new limb. How they know what body part to regrow is still being studied, but it may have something to do with chemical signals from nearby teeth. And amazingly, they can even regenerate entire sections of their brain and spinal cord. Researchers used to think that the reason why they had this ability was because they were in a constant state of childhood. But since then, they've learned that the regeneration process is actually controlled by the same genes that control normal embryonic development, and so it doesn't appear to be related to their need. Instead, they may have this ability because they re closely related to lungless salamanders, which also have the ability to regrow parts of their nervous system. But perhaps the most intriguing thing about axolotls is their ability to respark the growth of their own eggs. Some people call this process cloning, but it's more accurately described as automimicry, meaning it's the imitation of the genome of the parent. The first sign of this process is the formation of a small mass of tissue near the ovary called the eva. The eva secretes proteins and other molecules that stimulate nearby cells to begin dividing. The reason why they're produced is still unknown, but it may have something to do with asexual reproduction. Now remember how I said that sometimes a cell can replicate its chromosomes and divide even without being fertilized? Well, 
This process is called parthenogenesis, and it has actually been observed in a number of different species including some salamanders. Unfortunately, the offspring produced through parthenogenesis usually have low survival rates, especially outside of a lab setting. Many of them die before birth or soon after hatching, and so scientists think that most animals that reproduce this way are probably doing it as a last resort rather than an actual reproductive strategy. Even the axolotl needs a little help in producing its clones. Though scientists still don't know exactly how the whole process starts, they do know that the creation of the evoc is required for the production of cloned offspring. The proteins and other molecules released by the evoc stimulate the nearby egg cells to begin dividing. In 2015, researchers were finally able to raise cloned axolotls to adulthood. Up until then, most cloned embryos had died in the larval stage. So, this was a big breakthrough. The team collected eggs from female axolotls and then exposed them to a solution containing molecules found in the evoc. These molecules stimulated the eggs to begin dividing. The researchers were surprised to find that the eggs didn't immediately begin developing into embryos. Instead, they went through a period of suspended animation for several weeks before beginning to divide again. During this time, the eggs were kept at a low temperature to slow down their development. Once the eggs started dividing, they were transferred to petri dishes filled with a nutrient-rich gel. There the embryos grew over the next six weeks, eventually developing into baby a This research revealed that the molecule nitrogen monoxide is necessary for the reprogramming of the egg cells. Nitric oxide is a molecule that plays a variety of roles in the human body. It's involved in everything from digestion to memory. Normally, nitric acid is quickly broken down in water, but the team found that by adding a chemical that blocked this breakdown, they could successfully clone ax. This discovery suggested that axolotis could potentially clone themselves in the wild. But further research has shown that this is unlikely. The conditions needed for the asexual production of offspring are very specific and likely don't happen naturally. It seems that the axolotl S cloning ability is more of a fail-safe in case no mates are available rather than an actual method of reproduction. And in case you're worried about all these cloned axolotls taking over the world, don't be. Remember, all of these creatures are still closely related. This means that they have the same common ancestors and that they share many of the same genes. So while they can reproduce asexually, they're still dependent on sexual reproduction for genetic diversity. Without genetic diversity, it'd be pretty hard for them to adapt to any changes in their environment. The axolotl really is an amazing animal and studying them has taught us a lot about genetics, regeneration, and the evolution of amphibians. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Don't forget to share this video with your friends.